Hey guys, Matt from Eastwood. Today what we're going to talk about is doing some maintenance on your shrinker stretchers. I keep the Eastwood Elite shrinker stretchers with the foot pedestal in my shop because it's what I prefer, but this process is going to work on any shrinker stretcher that you have from Eastwood. All you're going to need to do this job is a wire brush and an Allen wrench and you're ready to go. So let's get started. All right, so we're going to start by taking the upper and lower jaws out of the shrinker stretcher. Uh, on the Eastwood Elite shrinker stretcher, it uses four Allen bolts on each set of jaws to take them out. So you just need a little Allen wrench to work that. Some of the Eastwood shrinker stretchers may take a different tool, but this one is Allen wrench, uh, socket head, Allen wrench bolts. So we're going to take each of these out and set them aside. And this is the same process as if you were uh, changing the jaws. If you have a, just a single body, you can change your sh shrinker jaws for stretcher and vice versa. I have two shrinkers, stretchers, because uh, I use these quite often and I don't like the downtime of having to change the jaws. Uh, the small investment that is required saves me a ton of time and it's definitely worth it. So we got our upper bolts out. I'm ready to take the jaw off. It has, on the upper one, it has just this little hook that goes over our arm or lever that actually works the jaws. Now make sure you hold these jaws and you pull them out. They are spring. They do have springs inside of them and there's basically little wedges that hold them together. So make sure you hold this firmly because if you drop them, they can, they can fall apart and there's a spring inside of here that will actually just blow out. So we got the upper one off. We're gonna work on getting the lower one off and then we'll show you how to uh, tune these up. All right, so we've got our jaws pulled off and have them sitting here. And you can see that these jaws, it's probably been about six to eight months since I've cleaned these jaws. And both of these have a lot of buildup of metal in them. Um, it might be a little hard to see here, but you can see that there's flecks of metal and there's even some like chips of metal that are in there. And over time, uh, they basically filled up those little uh, serrated edges in here so that the metal can no longer be grabbed by these jaws and it'll basically slip over them and you don't get as much of a shrink or stretch as you'd like um, or as the tool should be doing. So one of the things I like to do is pull these jaws out periodically, get them on the bench like this and number one, what we wanna do is just spray it down with a little bit of pre and then I take a wire brush and just work it over the jaws lightly. I have a bra brass bristle brush here, but you can use any. I, I prefer the brass, it's a little more gentle. Um, and what that will do with just a little bit of sweat equity, we will have something that's pretty darn clean right out of the box. That one. Another way that you can clean out these jaws if they are really filled up with metal particles and the wire brush and pre-option isn't working is to take a knotted or any kind of wire wheel, put it in a drill or something that you can, has variable speed and you can work over the serrated areas with the wire wheel and it will basically take out any of that stuff that just doing it by hand will not do. Uh, this jaw here cleaned up pretty good but there's a couple little spots that have some particles in it that it just wasn't getting out and right on the edges here it wasn't working. So you take my drill, slow speed and very light pressure. Just work over the jaws.
And just like that, we pretty much have everything out of there that was stuck in, we couldn't get it by hand. All right, so after a few minutes, I was able to replace the jaws and the shrinker stretcher works just about like new. Now, there's a second reason that you wanna take these jaws off periodically to clean them, and that is to also inspect them for any type of wear or damage. Contrary to popular belief, these shrinker stretchers do have jaws that are a wear item. We offer these on the website. You can buy the jaws separately, and I do advise to get new jaws periodically to make sure that your shrinker stretcher is working as good as it can. Now I took my jaws off and it was a good reason that I checked and cleaned them because I noticed actually some damage to the serrated section of the jaws where possibly I put in some dirty metal or maybe I even caught a piece of welt spatter that I didn't see and when I pushed down on the jaws it actually deformed the jaws a little bit and those areas aren't giving me number one a clean uh, shrink on the metal and it's actually going to put some some marks in the panel more than what it normally would have done that I have to sand out. So the next time I take these apart to clean them, I'm probably going to be replacing these jaws. It's simple enough to do that it makes sense to do it every now and then. Hopefully this quick little tutorial on cleaning your jaws on your shrinker stretcher is helpful for you. If you want to learn more about these tools or you want to order an extra set of jaws for your shrinker stretcher, you can click the link down below or you can visit eastwood.com to get all the tools you need to do the job right. Thanks guys. Catch you later.